Yo, what's up guys? This is Astronox and I'm back from another Tales of Aaron video. And this is gonna be the last try for Lorelei. Oh, please give me Lorelei. Please. Almost 3000 star gems. I don't think I can do it. I got a bit of... Uh, I got a couple stages here. Hmm. That, that's not gonna be enough. Got some achievements I can do, I guess. Uh, that's that. I think that's the last one. Single player battles, own fifty characters. Damn it! I know it could be it. This could be the last one. Ah, oh, she's so strong. Come on, just give me Lorelai. There's people that have been summoning for her for like they, they had to get her after 16. She, you get her for like guaranteed after 16. Ah, uh, just give me Lorelai. Let's go, man. Come on. Yes, come on. Yes, yes. Come on, come on Lorelai, please give me Lorelai, please, come on, do it, oh, Petralia, <laughs> oh. I mean, I could have gotten nothing, no, Still plus one petrol, yeah. But I mean, later on, petrol, I can have her plus ten. Rounds of characters, origin, awakening, uh, material. But Lorelai, she's ex exclusive. Oh well. Reprino and the Peprino. She's just so strong. One more reason to not invest too much in the Mono Fire team. This is like the true damage dealer for Mono Fire. It's insane damage. Like, what the hell? I don't know what her uh, soul costume is going to be, but I'm sure it's it's going to be plenty more damage. Plenty more damage. Oh, damn, boys. Damn. Well, good luck to everyone that uh, can still pull. I've been lucky for random summons like look maybe I'll just do this back scroll and get another five star no <laughs> yeah but no Lorelei I could get the star gem maybe I've got a. There's no time for all this. I've got to farm this damn event. I've got to farm this like crazy. There's not enough time left. And uh, time's running out. And it looks like I still have like a million gold to use because I got Dark Tide tickets. Where's that damn weapon? There it is. Crit rate of fire characters in the party. That, that's good. So, uh, what is it I wanted to say? No, no, I'm not talking to you. All right, there it is. 
I got 33 of those and it's like giving 8,000. 8,000 per stage. So that's like 8,000 something. So that's over, uh, that's over 250,000. Oh my. Okay, guys, I've got to go and farm. Let's, uh, let's just do it in this video. Oh my god, no, I cannot do it in this video. I think I forgot to delete. Did I forget to delete the 50 minute video that I did before? Oh, that's a rip. I could progress here. Nah, nah, nah. I'm not gonna do infinite. It's so bad. I powered the costume for Mao. And, uh, yeah, all her costumes are level 10. I sacrificed some old costumes that I wasn't using anymore. Now I'm working on Wu Lian's uh, Team Crit Gun. It's just like, I mean, it's it's small upgrades. I could be using the costumes for upgrade. Ooh, I should probably pop that. I should, I could be using the costumes to work on the uh, Mono Win team, which you guys probably shouldn't do unless you've got plenty of time on your hand and plenty of resources like stamina and gold saved up. You should go straight and straight to building your mono water team for the guild war i'm just doing wind to farm water massive battles quick because fire in there is not gonna be so great and i'm gonna rank poorly and i won't get good rewards it, it's just gonna be bad uh why am i using the divinity that i'm divinity that i'm using is just more damage uh, the first one is just additive damage. This one is, is like a multiplier when the boss is in weakened state. And, uh, and there's not even enough time to pop the divinity. So it's all about just whatever you get as a passive. Like right now I'm doing more damage. I got done more damage when she's in weak. Like you see the divinity? There's not even time to for it to build. Oh my. No, people are uh, joining 1400s like crazy. There was definitely less competition before I made some videos about it. But uh, I might go to the 1800s. It's just like, you get Fate Spring Water, the drop rate is like super low, so it doesn't really matter. It's all about just killing Utega as fast as possible with an offensive team. Like, I, I, I don't even have much HP on this team. It's like pretty much full offense. The, their HP is like 10,000 on some, some characters. I'm just full offense. Of course, I would use Lorelei instead of uh, Lotus Moon if I had her. But, uh, yeah, I mean, what can you do? You gotta play the, the hand you're dealt as free to play. It's just the way it goes. But damn, if you're starting now, just just reroll your account to get Lorelei. So good. Get Lorelei and Petralia if you can. I'm not even sure Petralia can, can spawn in the rounds of characters yet. You can get Wu Yan and Mao from uh, rounds of characters. I wonder if someone got... Uh, 
Petralia from the rounds of characters so far. Yeah, I mean for uh, for the mono wind, just to destroy the boss as fast as possible. Boreal as tank could be it, but now the thing is, well, I'm not really having any difficulty doing the uh, chapter uh, battles in extreme. I got what, like six battles left and I think I'm good. So I won't be needing uh, Leona for tanking like I thought I might need. Well, that was way before like when, when my power wasn't as crazy as now. Like most people can just get the same power now. And then I was thinking like why not just get put like uh, claws like team attack costumes on all the damage dealers instead of having self buffing costumes because if you think about it let, let's say you're running a triple offense setup like this you got Mao, you got Wu Lian and you got uh, Lotus Moon that's gonna get her soul costume soon triple damage dealers right so it, I, I know like you're running let's say you're running triple self buffing attack on uh, Mao uh, like Lotus Moon right now she's like let's she's let, let's say she's rocking three team attack uh, costumes tier 4 that's 120 percent right now Now she's running three, Mao's running three, and Wu Lian's running three. That adds up to 120% uh, each for 360%. So everyone's getting that. The only thing is, you could do that. Uh, you, you could run two of the, the damage dealer with uh, team attack increase. And like... The real, real main damage dealer with triple self buffing attack. Now, what would that provide? Well, you need to run team crit somewhere. Let's say you don't even run HP for the group, you're just full offense. Uh, yeah, you're gonna have to run two guns and like. So wait, you could do 7 team attack and 2 guns, full offense. But I mean, it's it's not really that great. You, let's say Lorelei is the one that gets the self attack buffing, which is not a good idea because Mao has her, her soul costume, so it, it, sh it should be Mao. But that means Wu Lian and uh, Lotus Moon or Lorelai are not getting their they're not getting the increase in attack. Now Wu Lian, now that's the prime. Wu Lian, she she won't have enough HP to really tank. So you're gonna have to like go with uh, hybrid attack HP on her. At least one. Unless it's like face roll content like this. Uh, yeah, you could run 8. 8, 9, maybe 1 tome. Because you're running 3 damage dealers. It's better to just use team attack across everyone and forget team at a team attack uh, self attack increase. Because that's, that's a selfish buff. And uh, it's additive. It's additive. So if you have 360% coming, I don't know, let's say it's 360% coming from the team. Uh, it, it's not going to be multiplicative. It's just additive. It's not going to give you 
extra, uh, like more damage uh, than the other damage dealers. You can have more attack, but uh, when everyone gets their soul costume, it won't matter anyways. There's four characters in the group. If you want to buff your team power as much as possible, you, you don't run any self uh, buffing costume. You don't run any. Because you're gonna get bonus attack on Petralia. Just free. Free bonus attack on Petralia because it's, for, it's 40 percent attack times four instead of three so it comes out to be 160 percent which is better than a self attack costume which is what 132 when it's capped so you get that bonus on uh, Petralia which means she's gonna heal more with the, with her single target heal but let's say like you change up the, the the costumes. You drop two uh, team attack increase, and you 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 add the um, uh, two HP uh, team HP increase. Uh, you bring Nefiru in there instead of the third damage dealer. Nefiru is gonna heal for some crazy amounts, like she's gonna heal you from low to full. But uh, some encounter you just like depending on the encounter you just bring more and more uh, team HP buffing costumes. It's that simple. Now with that setup, you're gonna get the highest power possible, and uh, I mean you could be running one, two, or three self buffing costume on your. Your strongest damage dealer. It has. To, it really has to be your strongest. Uh, it can't be Wu Lian unless you decide to use hybrid attack HP, and those will be level 25 or uh, 60 if you broke through with two other ones, or if you summon for costumes and you have a bunch of those, you could have one powered up. Uh, it's 90% attack and HP. It's great total uh, stats. It's just it's gonna be level 25. But you, you, you could uh, you could do it. You could run one or two on Wulian and uh, a pure attack increase on her. She could be like your your main damage dealer. You could be buying Wulian from the rounds of characters and using your origin on her and make her plus ten. And uh, she's gonna be a monster. You're gonna get get her all her skills to ten. She's gonna be ten ten. Alright guys, I'm back. Ran out of space. Made some space, now I'm back. So yeah, Wu Lian, you get her maxed out on her skills. You get 40 skill point. Ten, thing is 10, 10, 10, 10. She could be your main damage dealer. She's gonna spam counter attack. Insane amount of damage. Insane amount of damage she's gonna deal. Especially when she gets her soul costume. Oh god, it's gonna hurt. So yeah, I mean... Could do that. How much damage is the skill 1 on Julian though? Thing is, you don't want Wu Yan with too much health because if she's got too much health, she's not gonna counter every time she gets hit. If you have Wu Yan plus ten, you can. You don't. I don't think you need those hybrids unless you're doing some crazy hard content. And well, if the content is hard, might as well start start putting some team HP buffing costumes on the team. Now you'd run, like later on, you'd probably run, uh, if there's no new fire uh, healer for the team, you run, like you drop Mao, you probably do Lorelei, Wu Lian with Nefiru and Petralia for uh, 
crazy damage fight. Or you could just using use the healing divinity. But that's gonna be a lot of damage loss. Yeah, I mean it all depends on the battle. There's so many different group composition you can do. And this is just for mono fire. But if you got Lorelei. I'm gonna check the multiplier on Wulian. <clears throat> but if you've got Lorelei. Go, go crazy. I don't know, even with this event, <clears throat> I don't think I can build enough <clears throat> team attack costumes, tier 4. To, uh, let's say, if I decided later down the line to do uh, what I'm saying. I mean, that's going to be way later, because I would have to dedicate all my resources into changing up the setup. So, I, I could just do that setup for other elements straight up if I'm if I'm if it's possible now that's the thing though you're getting self buffing costumes from massive battles so you're not getting the team attack one so you cannot have enough to break through the whole thing all of them and have them level 100 so that's why this event is crazy you can get a mono win team with ridiculous stats you see like the time I'm losing here? It's it, it's gonna be time for me to start joining uh, 1600s. Join this one and see the difference. 1600s. I mean, I stopped doing uh, tracking the drops because I mean, it looks like it's on average two tokens uh, for rank one. It, uh, it's pretty crazy tracking those things because you, you would need a sample size of thousands and thousands to track the stamina potion drops and Utega well you, you'd need like a couple ten thousand uh, runs to uh, get an idea of the drop rate a decent idea yesterday I got Utega to drop twice and uh, yeah, I mean, I, so far I've got 5,000 Summon Emblems uh, from this event. I got uh, plenty of gold left to, to do, to, to run with. And I've got, uh, I've got a bunch of Divine Tokens to use as well. Hopefully my luck is not like the last one. One Utega for, uh, for a thousand Divine Tokens. That was uh, pretty crazy. Crazy bad. Uh, maybe just run 1600s, whatever. Because people are not running those. That's 200 gold more. Like, I don't think I can spend all the gold that I have in time. Because I still got... Even I spent all the gold that I have in time. Yeah, they're, they're, yeah I don't think I can do it. So I would have to... If I do it like 18 hours every, every day until the update... I don't know if I can do it, because you, you do get some gold back from the Divine Tokens. You, you have to run runs for free. I'm doing the level 100, just to just do that stuff super quick. I would have to stop doing any kind of video and just like grind non-stop and barely get any sleep. So I don't know, the event is good, but uh, I mean, I'm not, I'm not gonna kill myself for, <laughs> for it. Uh, so yeah, I mean the last time I, I did the thousand divine uh, token summon, it was actually like, I got a bunch of costumes, it was good. It was good costume wise, but Utega wise, nope. It's all about those uh, summon emblems.
those summon emblems are a beauty, you can just buy whatever hero that pops up in the rounds of characters, easy peasy. You can plus 10 a 4 star, plus 10 a 5 star down the line. It's all helping you uh, to achieve that goal. Uh, more HP, takes longer. But uh, this guarantees rank 1. Just those far 1400s are rarer, and uh, a lot of people start joining up, joining up on them. Yeah, Lotus Moon's plus five. I could get a buyer in the rounds of characters a few times, try to get her plus ten, but like as I'm playing and summoning summoning naturally, I'll I'll get her plus ten later on, so I don't know about rushing her. I would have to see her soul costume skills and then if it's like oh my god, it's so good then Maybe like plus tenner, but uh, yeah, I mean she's a four star, so she's got the four star stats. I should be using the seven emblems to work on powering up uh, a character that I really need that for the late game. So now I was thinking a human team for late 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 game. No, I'm not sure, like, I don't have Lorelei. Of course, I do have Petrolia and Mao. A Lotus Moon is not a uh, human. Wulian's not a human. Wulian is a spirit. So, yeah, spirit team. I checked the, nerve the illusory... Nirvana costumes, and I don't remember one giving anything for spirit. I think I'm gonna finish with that. Checking that out, like what's up with the, like which one gives uh, powers of the spirit uh, faction. Because human has wa the water one and the fire one. They, they both affect human and uh, they each have another uh, faction. Two, fa two factions on each. But if you do like a, a, a fire team, you got humans plus you can use a bonus skill that affect fire as well, so it's easy to, to, uh, to build. Illusory, Nirvana, Earth and human characters. Gain health when battle starts. Life blessing. So yeah, earth and human. Then you've got here human and the dragon clan. Gain health when battle starts. What's this? Oh, skill level five, life blessing. Okay, and then wind. <coughs> Wait, attack of rainbow, rainbow crystal spirit, and spirit characters. Okay, so spirit is this. Okay, this one was not in the game before. This was added recently in a patch. Dragon clan and creation. And life blessing was not on them, or was only on a few. Demon and soul characters. 
soul and demon and uh, Pulian his soul human human spirit human earth clan spirit so here uh, frost nova Wulian. Wait, 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 no, no, this is Wulian's not spirit. What am I saying? Wulian is soul. I don't think there's that many soul. Human, dragon clan. Human, oh no, that's, she's dragon clan, yeah. yeah demon, human. So I, like, you got Kamiji, Shizuku, you got Mao, Rabbis is human too. Yeah. Can do Rabbis, Petralia, Mao. And then use a human tank like Kulasha or Sulasha. Because that, those are the... Can use Sarta in the front line as well. Uh, what about Boreal? Human, okay, Boreal is human. Kulasha. Alright, well, I'll figure this st stuff out later, guys. Mimiru, Yuna, crazy long skills. So you wouldn't be able to run this. If you run her as human. Anyways, guys, that's it for this one. Thanks for watching. I'm Astronox. Like, comment, and subscribe for more. And uh, good luck on summoning Lorelei. And <laughs> I'll see you in the next one. Peace out for now.